week eight of the fantasy football season. And here's a few kickers I looked at off the waiver wire this week. The first guy, Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So McPherson, yes, he's available in 51% of fantasy leagues in Yahoo League. So right now, he got dropped, obviously, with the bye week. Teams weren't going to hold on to that and they carry two kickers, especially with a lot of running backs were available on the wire. So McPherson, we know he's one of the best kickers in the league. We know he's on a high-powered offense that's healthy now on the after the bye week, and I think he's going to be ready to go. And here in Week 8, he's got a matchup with the San Francisco 49ers, where we know they're one of the best defenses in the league, men don't break, but don't break. So right now, with all those factors, and I think a decent amount of opportunities in that one, McPherson. And like I said, you're out there in 51% of fantasy leagues. This is a time for fantasy owners to go out there and get him. The bye week is over, and he's one of the best kickers in the league, so it's a no-brainer to pick him up this week. The next kicker, Brandon Aubrey of the Dallas Cowboys. So Aubrey, he's been solid this season for this Dallas Cowboy team, and he's in the top 12 in fantasy points at the kicker position. So the last three weeks, week four versus New England 10, week five at San Francisco six, and week six at the Chargers eight. So the Cowboys had their bye week in week seven, and now they got a Los Angeles Ram team coming to town in week eight. That gives up the six most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So Aubrey, he's come out of nowhere. He didn't play college football, played soccer with Aubrey, and he's a guy with a good boot. So right now, while he's out there in tons of fantasy leagues after getting dropped on his bye week as well in 76% of fantasy leagues, and he's on an offense that stalls out a lot in the red zone. I would give him an ad this week, the next kicker, Dustin Hopkins of the Cleveland Browns. So Dustin Hopkins, the last two weeks, he's been the best kicker in terms of fantasy points and fantasy football. And right now, he's available is Hopkins, still in 78% of fantasy weeks. So the last few weeks, week six versus San Francisco, 16, and week seven in Indianapolis, what a game, 22 fantasy points. So week eight, another good matchup with the Seattle Seahawks. I give up the 10th most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So right now, this Brown team, they are offense in the red zone that don't punch it in a lot as well. The Seattle defense, it's been pretty decent so far this season, but you could get down in the red zone on them, but they're men but don't break type of defense in the red zone. So right now, Hopkins, he's been kicking 50 plus yarders the last couple weeks, putting up good fantasy points. And like I said, this Brown team stalls out a lot in the red zone. So he's definitely a kicker I would give an ad to. This week, the next kicker, Chris Boswell, of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Chris Boswell. He's been a solid kicker for many years for Mike Tomlin and this Pittsburgh Steelers team. In the last few weeks, week five versus Baltimore 10, and week seven at the Rams eight. So right now his bye week was all over in week six, which obviously is a good thing. Boswell, he's on an offense that doesn't score a lot of touchdowns, and they grind out a lot of ball games with maybe one or two touchdowns a game and the rest field goals. So right now, week eight, I know not the greatest of matchups versus the Jaguars. I give up the second least amount of fantasy points to kickers on the season. But like I said, this offense stalls out a lot. Opportunities have been there all season here for Boswell. And he's available in 84% of leagues. So the, and the fifth and final kicker I looked at off the wire this week's Cameron Dicker of Los Angeles Chargers. So Cameron Dicker coming off a pretty decent game at the Chiefs with seven fantasy points. And he's another kicker with a big boot that could hit it from 50 plus. I know this season the numbers haven't been all that great, but it's not really Dicker's fault. The opportunities haven't been there. But week eight, Versus the Bears, I give up the ninth most fantasy points to kickers on the season. The opportunities are going to be there. We know this Bear team, they've struggled defensively all season. Daniel Carlson, he had a few opportunities in that Week 7 game for the Raiders at the Chicago Bears. So right now, while Dicker is available in 78% of fantasy leagues and a great matchup versus the Bears, I would give him an ad this week. So that's a few kickers I looked at in Week 8 of the fantasy football season.